Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome to a new episode of Pixel News. The first since I've been back on the channel after my little hiatus. Now what we're going to be covering today is unban me for 3DS. Now as you guys may know, a lot of people got banned on their 3DSs back from Pokemon Moon when it got released early and also just in general for um, people who have downloaded CIA applications and uh, have sent that information to Nintendo about unofficial like title IDs and stuff like that. And also if you have played an unofficial game and it showed up on your friends list, that has been the possible culprit as to why people have been getting banned left and right on their 3DS. And because of all these bans, people have looked into ways to unban their 3DS. And there is a thread on GBA attempt called all three methods to get unbanned from the recent ban wave, which include waves to unban your 3DS. Now, one of these ways was called unban me, which has been recently updated to version 2.0, which that version has actually caused a lot of controversy in the 3DS scene. And for good reason too. Now, before you get your pitchforks up and your torches out, let me just lay the situation out for you guys because it is quite the rabbit hole and from the surface, you may just get really pissed off and already have your, your torch lit. But just wait it out for a second. Let me get through the whole story because there's more to it than just this being a malware, bad application, nobody use it. Let's get to the bottom of this real quick. So user on GBA temp named astronaut level came through and made this big post about unban me talking about how he broke down the code and looked at it and it looked like it was sending information to a server. Sensitive 3DS information like your movable.sed, your local friend code seed, and some secured info from your 3DS. He says there's an option in unban me to upload your LFSCB. However, the interesting thing is that even if you don't select this option, it uploads it anyways, as well as other information, namely movable.sed. Now, movable.sed is a file that you use for a transfer to another 3DS so that you can use the files on your previous SD card and still be able to use them, otherwise it won't let you. He says, I would highly recommend not using the software, even if it's a bug or from the creators change this behavior. Effectively stealing every local friend code seed B is such a breach of violation of trust that I would never recommend using the software ever again. And so he posted all his findings. He did some tests to the server and he found all this out. Now he made another assessment and in this assessment he says I do not majorly blame Sono slash Marcus D which are the creators of this for this mess at least for update 2.0. He immediately confessed when he was online took responsibility and shared with me the source code both for the app and the site API. It became obvious that this was intended as a security measure rather than a means of storing and collecting data. Obviously this was wrong, but again, Sono took full responsibility and apologized profusely for what he did. I know Sono well enough to know what he did was not malicious. Here's Sono's technical write-up on what he was doing. So what they said that they were doing was uploading these and checking them against the real 3DS users uh, actual file to make sure that they weren't trolling or they weren't trying to like harass the server and it was all for security purposes there was no malicious intention of trying to store the files and use them or sell them or do anything that you would possibly wrap your head around as soon as you hear something like this going on now this could have easily been used maliciously by any other developer who could have created something like this and then coaxed people into downloading it and coaxed people into using it and then sending them the files and then either using the files or selling the files this could have been a train wreck of a situation now I know Marcus D and he is not a bad developer and I never had a feeling when I was reading this and I found out Marcus D was attached to this that he would be trying to steal people's information, trying to sell it, trying to use it maliciously. Marcus D is a very good developer. He is the developer of OCDM, the uh, Mario Maker project. He also made Horizon M. He's a very talented individual and you know it sucks that his name is attached to this and that people might view him as a bad person for this. Now there's some chat logs of all the developers talking and even Alex S is a part of this and I've talked to Alex S before. He's part of this too. Apparently he was advertising the project um, and knew about the, the sendings of these files, these sensitive files that 
even if they were just going to a server where no one had access to them it is private information and if you did not consent to have your file sent then you should not be having your file sent to a server even if it is for security purposes and that is why people are very upset about this and even after reading the technical write-up and talking about this they are still upset because it is their private information that was sent to his server without their consent. So things got really fishy when the project went from an open source project to a closed source project. It really made people scratch their heads and wonder why did this project do that? Because that has the potential for some sketchy stuff to be going on, which from a distance, it could very much look like this was some sketchy stuff going on. People could have easily used this to make money and sell people's information, yada yada yada. In Marcus D's technical write-up, he wrote an entire thing, a technical write-up and a non-technical write-up, whether you want to see the technicality of it or you just want an explanation of what his intentions were. You can read all that. I'll link it in the description if you want to read what his side of the story was he said i'll just read a little bit of it he says so i thought it was a good idea use so i thought it was a good idea to use very touchy data from the user's nand namely local friend code seed movepool.set and secure info for verifying the user and verify if the data is valid or handcrafted by a troll without having access to a 3ds to verify the integrity of the data Basically, he just goes on and tells what his intention of adding all these security checks and why he uploaded the files to a server to be able to have them checked back up against a real 3DS to make sure that nobody's trolling the server or nobody's getting any bad injections. Or He also had an intention that in the version 2.1 of Unban Me, users could actually restore from a backup from the server which would have been a pretty cool little thing. I don't know how helpful it exactly would have been, but it was a little feature he had and he wanted to add later on. But of course the whole thing blew up and now Unban Me has a seriously bad name to it. And I hope Marcus D doesn't have the same bad name attached because he is a very good developer. I can't speak for Sona. I don't know Sona all that well, but I do know Marcus D is a really good developer and I would never think that he would have any bad intentions. He's always provided for the scene. Since this whole thing has blown up, Marcus D has gone to the server and removed all entries on the server. There were 17 entries. Three of them were actually from developers. So there's 14 people who actually had their information uploaded to the server and it has since been removed. So nobody's information is out there. Nobody's information is on a server. Who knows what's gonna be the future of Unban Me if it even has a future. It honestly might just be dead in the water with how much hate this application has gotten for being the regarded as the first 3DS malware. Either way, you guys, there are other methods to unban your 3DS if you really need to unban your 3DS. You can stay away from unban me. Let me know what you guys think about this huge controversy in the 3DS scene. Let me know, do you guys think unban me is the first 3DS malware? Do you think that no matter what, what they did was wrong? Do you think it's all right after they clarified themselves and made themselves abundantly clear? Let me know all your guys' thoughts in the comments section below. I love reading what you guys got to say, especially with something so controversial as this. Anyways, guys, please like it up, subscribe it up, and I'll catch all of you guys in future videos and live streams. Peace out, big crew.